Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 90, which was released on July 13th. This is the sixth major browser update in 2021, as you can see here. In this video, I'll cover some of the notable changes in this new browser update. First up, enhancement to the Smart Block feature, a tracker blocking mechanism for Firefox private browsing in strict mode, which was first introduced in Firefox 87 and designed to intelligently fix up web pages that are broken by Firefox's tracking protection without compromising your privacy. The new enhanced version ensures that you can still use third-party Facebook login buttons to sign into your website while still protecting you from cross-site tracking. You can read more about it from this blog post. You'll find the link in the description section. And next up, Firefox for Windows users can install Firefox updates silently in the background, even if Firefox is not working. You will find this setting under About colon Preferences in the General section under Firefox Updates. Now, if you want to disable this feature, you can use this Firefox preference and then change the value to False. Next up in Firefox 90, you'll find a new third-party module information page. If you type about colon third-party in the address bar and hit enter, it will provide information on any modules or apps that are not compatible with Firefox, which can help reduce crashes, performance, or compatibility issues. Finally, you can set up exceptions to HTTPS-only mode. If you type about colon preferences hashtag privacy in the address bar and hit enter, and then scroll down to the HTTPS only section, here you can activate the new manage exceptions button, which will allow you to set an exception for an HTTP site that you trust. So these were some of the notable changes in Firefox 90. You can check the list of detailed changes in the release notes. You'll find the link in the description section. In terms of the BrowserMark benchmark test results, the overall performance of Firefox remains steady compared to the earlier version, but Google Chrome continues to outperform. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.